All right, let me show you guys a little bit about the heat system and how it works. Every round in the game, how do I? Uh, Every round, you basically start off with the full heat gauge, which is under your life bar. It's in blue right there. And you activate it uh, one of two ways. You can do an attack that'll manual, that'll automatically activate it. And it'll, like that, it'll do a little blue animation and he'll run toward the opponent. There are designated moves per character. get frame advantage when you run toward them by the way yeah you can find out what those moves are by going in the move list and I recommend that you do that because it's very important you can pretty much just beat people up by abusing the heat system and the heat state and all the powers that your character gets in heat but when you go into the move list you go over to all techniques the heat moves will be at the very beginning of the list there's an icon right there that um you see that blue guy that's glowing i think that's the icon for heat engager so this move will do it this move all these moves will do it uh yeah so the game plan if you don't really know what you're doing thank you jack pro for the 41 month straight sub if you don't really know what you're doing you should be moving around and trying to land one of these moves to get into the heat state and from there your meter starts going down um, and you have access to some special abilities that are unique per character and that's uh, that's explained in the very beginning so all moves with deal chip damage on block that's universal a heat dash can be used when a heat engager is hits or is blocked again heat engager are those moves I just listed are the moves that when landed they activate heat but once you're already in heat state doing those moves aren't going to activate heat again because you're already in heat but if you hold press and hold forward after doing the moves you'll dash forward kind of like in street fighter 4 remember akuma had the fadc so think of it like as fadc when you use heat dash. it's good because one a move that normally knocks down like so will actually could become a combo starter could become a combo starter um and on the other hand if the opponent is blocking you can use it to like i said do the do the drive rush cancel fadc or whatever you have advantage you get to run up and do one little mix up that you want on your opponent and then the third thing that's good is let's say oops sorry Let's say I did this, I activated the heat mode, now I'm in heat. You can actually use those heat uh, dashes to extend your combo. So that is the extension of the combo. So you, you know, we can get into the how deep and how advanced and how hard and how strong the combos can be, but that's kind of an example of how you would use heat dash. But anyways, that's what heat dash is. Number two, number three. Heat Smash, a move that causes critical damage. Blah, 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 blah. So I mentioned doing the moves that activate the heat. And I meant there, I mentioned that there was another way to do it. Another way, and this is for all the characters. You can press 2 plus 3, triangle, and X. And he'll do an attack called the Heat Burst. Every character has Heat Burst. And you can look at it as like a very, very good power crush move. Very, very good move with armor. Uh, it has very high priority. Yep. You can do that. I use, you, people use it to like get pressure off of them. People use it just to like activate heat. And if you're spacing out and you're far away and you do it, and the move, you know the move is going to whiff. Oh, sorry. Yeah, it's summon the legendary weapon. It's very important to teach you this because you wanna you wanna make use of heat every single round. Sorry, 
I accidentally activated my turbo button. What was the input again? Uh, two plus three. The cool thing is, by default controls, heat burst, heat smash. It's it's uh, a, it's assigned <laughs> to a button automatically. One of your shoulder buttons. So you don't actually have to press those two. But I play uh, I play in a way where uh, I turn these off. So the manual command to do them is uh, two plus three. Yeah. And one downside to using the heat burst is that you don't start off with the full meter. You know, it drains a little chunk of your meter right off the bat. Why do I turn him off? Because I'm just him? Yeah. Uh, same thing as the heat dash. You can actually use that heat burst to extend your combo. So there you basically saw me using the burst and the dash to do like a super combo. Go back to the move list. Jack has four little things here under the heat system, but other characters will have a lot more things. So you have to go in here and you read it. So the fourth uh, thing that he does that's unique is that the moves while gamer charge is activated uh, is stronger. So Jack, gamma, gamma, uh, whatever is this new stance. He's got these two options, but in the heat state, they're a little bit stronger. Basically, this, this thing right here is a guard break. And you see how well, every time I use one of my heat moves or heat special ability moves, the meter is going to go down. So you're using your heat meter to use these special attacks and stuff. And, you know, all the way until your meter goes down. Once your meter runs out for that round, you're done for that round. You can't use it anymore. So basically, like I said, the game plan is to run around, activate heat via using one of the moves. I like to do it using one of the moves because that way I'll have access to my full bar. Oh, I forgot to explain what the heat smash was. Heat smash. Once you are in heat, if you press 2-3 again, you'll do like a very, very strong attack. But doing so will use up all your meter. And the heat smashes are different per character. With Jack, it's just a, it's just like a super fast, super strong attack. And if you are a noob, you'll win a lot of games just from using this and then doing it again. Make sure you use your heat smash. Definitely want to get in the habit of just using that every single round if you can. If you can't do combos, you can't backdash, you can't. You can definitely press 2 plus 3, right? The guard break into the heat smash. And that's just how Jack works, right? Let's take a look at another character, for example. Who could it be? Let's go with... Let's go with... Uh, Steve. No, uh, who has a lot of stuff? I think Steve has a lot of stuff. Get ready for the he has a heat state battle. counter. I don't know if Jack has that. So yeah, every character that you want to learn, make sure you go to their move list. Yeah, he's got all these things you need to read. So just like everybody, he, all moves will deal chip damage on block. He could do the heat dash out of his heat engagers. Heat smash. Uh, it's that super move that you have once you're in heat. It uses up your meter. A new ducking and shift move can be used. So this move right here, every time I use it, it burns up meter, but it's just like a fast little weave. You can use Two-Faced. Basically, Two-Faced is a special grab that he has. Very, very cool. That's his Heat Engager, and this is his Heat Dash when used with that Engager. You get a free hit afterwards. Can mid parry mid attacks during Lionheart. Oh, I didn't know that. Over here. That's pretty cool. Can you break two face? Uh, with Steve, I think it's like a 50-50. Once I once I grab you, once I yeah, it's like a one break or a two break. <coughs> yeah.
Yeah, it's kind of like a Mark Tackle. That's how somebody put it. And I was able to learn a lot. So every character that you that you play with, you definitely want to just get in there and learn about the heat specific powers. Reyna, a character I've been playing a lot. Oh. Let's see what she's got. She's got the chip damage, the heat dash, the heat smash. Lethal fear can be used from some attack sequences. Uh, so she has like a really strong version of her regular move. That's that. Every time you use it, you'll use some of your meter. All your electric wind, all your wind god fists will be electrics. So any wind god, that's electric. All electrics. They're just automatically electrics. When you're in heat, they're just all electrics. And the cool thing is, if you do an actual electric, it doesn't burn your meter. Can parry mid or high attacks from Heaven's Wrath. Oops. This is something that I think is really cool. She has a stance where she like sticks her face out and then the opponent attacks when you, she's in the heat state. She automatically parries. Pretty cheap. Pretty cheap. A lot of the stuff that you get when you're in the heat mode are just like very, very strong versions of your attacks. Right? Isn't the electric thing for all machines? Yes, all the electric characters the electrics are just much easier to do when they're in heat state. So, yep. Heat is just a great way to deal a lot of damage on your opponent, deal a lot of pressure. The heat burst is a great attack to just get them off of you if you need to. The heat dash. Oh, by the way. They changed it from the very, very first version of the game where... Um, you know how I mentioned if I do the heat dash in a combo, it extends my combo. Kind of like this, where I'm just even still floating them. If you do a combo where you use the burst and the dash, it won't bounce them off the ground. It'll, it kind of limits your combo a little bit in a way. So, if you want to use your burst and your dash in a combo, it kind of stops short at that part right there. You just need to do one last hit and kind of finish this. So it's different from just using it outright. So using it by itself. It's kind of like advanced, kind of confusing. But once you kind of are familiar with it, you'll learn. Kind of like how you can't have two tornadoes. Exactly. You can't have two tornadoes in a combo. You can't use the burst and the heat dash to extend your combo aerial via aerial methods. But you can get that last hit. So let's say I combo. I want to use the burst to extend the combo. I can't get the last hit once I use a dash. But that's that. That's different because if I'm already in heat state like so. And I use that same move. It kind of bounces it. You know what I mean? It kind of does a different effect. So keep that in mind. Like I saw a guy try to do a combo where... He did like this, this, and then he went and bursted, and then dashed, and then he tried to rage art. He tried to rage art afterwards, and that's one way. It's not gonna work. Use the burst, use the dash. It's not gonna work. But, let's say you're already in heat mode activated. And I do the same thing there. Oops, forgot the dash. Oh, forgot the heat. It used to work in the beta, yes, but they nerfed it because it was too much damage. See, now this should combo. Oh, no? I was having an issue with it. Maybe hers just doesn't work. Maybe hers just doesn't work. I don't know. It should work for somebody else, right? Let's try Steve. Yeah, because that actually dropped on me today when I tried to do that. And I was pretty surprised. 
Her is too high and too slow. Okay. Let's do the dash. Oh shit. I think this should hit. Yeah. So using the heat dash and the heat burst and combos can get confusing in advance. But at the very least, you should be able to just use this to get them off of you and then use this to get some pressure off. For sure. Very, very strong. When you play Tekken in ranked and you get higher and higher, you'll find people who will just use heat every single time. Was that booty at the wall? Um, yeah, it was. After the three hitter? Yes. You have to make the last hit of the three hitter and hit low though. Breaking Victor throws? Round two. Rain is quite difficult. Um, it's quite difficult to play if you want to do all the hard stuff. Yes. Nina. Thank you for the first time as well. Appreciate it, guys. Uh, hopefully I'll have some heat bar when I get back up. I can use my smash right away. Thank you for subscribing, dudes. Hope you're enjoying the games. Ow, 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 ow. using rage art but they're almost dead super annoying remember to launch those dudes guys and yeah, the booty doesn't work anymore after that throw Fight Lounge is good. Fight Lounge is pretty solid. I know you've been doing this for a while, but how do you keep composure when you're losing? It's pretty easy because I just like playing the game. When you lose, you can learn a little bit more than when you win. So when you lose, just take something from it and bring it to the next game. Play another game? I don't know. Losing sucks. If you lose 100 games in a row, you don't win. I get it. It sucks. It's also an opportunity to try new shit. You can try new things when you lose. I don't know. I definitely get annoyed when I lose. There are days where I'm losing. But it's just a game, right? It's a video game. Round two. Who are you, like, imagine yourself getting mad at a video game. 
And really, I mean, it's okay to get mad, but I mean, like, to where it's, like, affecting your day. Isn't that a little silly? You just stop playing if it's really that bad. You just stop playing. is really hard. I'll use my shit here. The game is really hard, so it requires a lot of focus and attention. And I don't really have any room to focus on getting mad. Again, yeah, I just like this game. At the end of the day, you lost because it's your fault. So who are you getting mad at? The game or yourself? You lost because it's your fault, buddy. A lot of people get mad because they they like to blame the game. Oh, the game fucking did the bullshit. Blah, 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 blah. Right? I hear that all the time. Holly Colden, thanks for subbing. Thank you guys. There's so much to do when you lose rather than just cry about it. You're just wasting your time if you don't. <laughs> if you don't like try to get better, you're just gonna suck forever. Get ready for the next. <laughs> the end of an Overwatch, yeah. Finger pointing in Overwatch. Oh man. You gotta respect it. Round one. Victor has a really good key engagement. This shit right here, you just run that all day. Explosion! Thanks for YouTube technique video. You're welcome. Oh my god, they're going crazy on me. Why don't I just block? Because I know they're going to do stupid shit. Fight. Like that. Why don't I just block it? throw where's my throw round three fight Fuck it, man time to cheat your ass with Victor's throws I do guys all right we're back in the game we're back in the that's my heat smash it's low by the way heat smash low great Oh, 
Oh! Baba, bitch! <laughs> Come back. We're bringing it back. Yeah, that's bullshit. All they did was sweep low at the end of the rounds. I mean, that'll only work for so long, buddy. Oh, cheap ass string? Okay. What's up? What's up? What's up? <laughs> Damn, I got a 20 game, 27 game winning streak? What the fuck? I did not know that. <laughs> I did not know that. Damn, Victor! Chill, Victor! I didn't know. I mean, it's a continuation from last time. So it's not like I've been sitting here playing him 27 games straight today. Shut up, Victor. Shut up, Victor! Wee! <laughs> Can you or someone in this chat link the exact- If you want to learn Victor combos, look up Dengo Jin. D-E-N-G-O-J-I-N. Dengo Jin. He's got combos for a few characters. That I learned uh, Reina combos and I learned Victor combos from him. I like a combo video that's like short, shows you the good combos, you know, like. Yeah, I like my Victor customization. Y'all like that shit though? Eh? Eh? What do you think? What do you think? What do you think, huh? Hobo Wolverine. Chill, 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 chill. Prowess and rank? Uh, prowess is like a overall formula, like calculated total score. Of your statistics, like you know how when you're loading up in the screen it says like A plus, A plus at trolling and C plus at bullshit. Like it's like a, all of that stuff combined. All your characters ranks. Hello. Hello. He gone gone. Get ready for the next battle. He gone, gone, y'all. C'est un honneur d'affronter un véritable samouraï. Round one. Yoshi's really hard to fight. My win streak is gone? No! No!
God, I love that move. Don't let him get away with that move, by the way. It's launch punishable. That would never happen on MK. Wow. Ian Ryan, thank you for watching the video. I'm, I'm glad that it helped you out. You know, I'm glad. I love hearing good shit about my teachings. I've been teaching Tekken for a long, long time. I've been teaching for so long. The people that taught you, I taught them. I taught your teachers how to play Tekken, man. And that's no that's that's no exaggeration. All the motherfucking philosophical fuckers and shit. All them aggressive spacing and all the shit. I taught them that bullshit. You were there when it was written. <laughs> I think uh, we can call it there, man.